A strange sight for people in Bellhaven this morning. People waking up to mashed potatoes on their porches. And that's just the start of it. That's right. WJTV 12's Margaret Ann Carter spoke with neighbors who say uh, the spuds wound up in the oddest of places. She joins us now in the newsroom with this mashed mystery. Margaret Ann. I think these neighbors are just as confused as we are, Mel and Byron. And while some people think it's just a prank, others are scared the potatoes might be poisoned. We need a spoon. And then it would have been sad. Who leaves mashed potatoes on someone's front porch? No, it's not the beginning of a corny joke. It's the question Bellhaven neighbors are asking after finding themselves the recipient of this bizarre side dish. I mean, this neighborhood does a lot of quirky things. We decorate caution road signs. We put Christmas trees in our potholes. So it's not surprising at all. And that's why I love this neighborhood because they do so many strange things. But it's definitely in the some one of the weirdest things I've seen since living in Jackson. After posting to Facebook, Jordan Lewis found she wasn't alone. Found it on their porches, they have found it on their mailboxes, on their cars. We don't know if someone's just playing a prank or if someone just had a lot of leftovers. We're not quite sure. <laughs> and whoever was behind the mashed potato mystery was driving all over Bellhaven, putting several houses and even streets in between his victims. I got up and was headed to, to work at 7 o'clock, and there was just a styrofoam bowl of mashed potatoes on, on the doorsteps right there. Stepping out and narrowly missing the bowl, Sebastian Bjarnagord didn't think twice about it. But as news traveled on social media, people right hastily here, so started forming their own theories of a mashed potato maniac. Some people were thinking maybe this is, maybe, maybe the mashed potatoes were poison to, to kill animals. Uh, I didn't taste it. You know, I have a three second rule, so I didn't, I didn't touch it. Uh, but some people are worried. But others see it as a harmless prank and wonder what the person behind the potatoes will come up with next. I hope they just keep doing stuff like this. I think they're hysterical. I know. I wonder what they'll do next. It's like Maybe a whole Thanksgiving meal. And the neighbors say there was no need to involve law enforcement on such a harmless prank. Ken, yeah, that's kind of strange, but if it wasn't poison, I'm sure the neighborhood critters really enjoyed all the, 